My little bunnies come to see what I'm talking about. Isn't she cute? I just get so much joy out of these little creatures that have made my garden their home. And we've learned to get along. So cute. She looks like a tiny speck. But what I wanted to talk to you today was about my rustic garden and how I plan to improve the soil for zero dollars. Now this is a bed that I've built up over the past three years and each season I've brought in bags of mulch and bags of compost and the soil level always kind of recedes down into the ground and although it's looking pretty good and it's growing lots of nice perennials this was the year I said I am not dragging any more bags in. I'm going to make it easy on myself. And I'm going to try a layering technique that should be very effective. And that consists of just dotting some pots throughout this bed. And the reason this is going to improve the soil is that worms will come along. Wherever the pot is, it's going to retain the moisture underneath. Even on the hottest days, it will still keep the water from evaporating out of the soil and the worms will want to come hang out there. And uh, when they hang out there, they're going to leave worm castings. And um, worm castings are expensive, guys. I ordered them for some of my indoor plants and a small bag costs quite a bit. So I'm very excited that I am inviting the worms to live under my pots and at the same time I'll be getting some worm castings for my soil which probably needs some improvement by now and uh, right where I want it. I don't have to lift a thing. Isn't that amazing guys? So I just bring over a few pots that I'm already growing and they will enjoy it and it may not look like anything now but these are going to be pots full of zinnias and marigolds and it's going to be pretty and this is kind of a free-form natural rustic garden here i even put my two level strawberry tower up there because if it's sitting on a bench even if worms come it's not going to be benefiting anything these pots are pots that i have these were from the dollar store I'm trying to grow turmeric in them so I thought you know what I'll put them on top of my soil and let the worms hang out underneath them so we'll see if I get any turmeric it doesn't matter the pot is still benefiting here's a pot of onions I was growing elsewhere and I brought them over here and all of these pots here all the black nursery pots are just ones I've put aside and I'm reusing and you don't even need to put soil in it, guys. You don't even need to plant them up. You could put in a whole bunch of kitchen scraps and pile in weeds and native soil and just anything you want in there as long as it's heavy enough that the pot's not going to blow away. And in fact, if you put composting elements in there, the rain is going to go right through that and bring the nutrients down into the soil. Isn't that amazing, guys? So. For no heavy lifting and zero cost, I'm improving my soil. And the beauty of this idea is that you can move it around. Once you think that the soil is improved, you can move it to another spot on the bed. Isn't that great? And then if you want to sweeten the pot and really make sure you get some worms, you can put some green waste under there or compost. Look, there's a worm right there I just put this here two days ago and there is a worm visiting my setup looks like he's trying to get in the pot so isn't that amazing guys just provide a little area where the moisture won't evaporate and maybe put a few weeds under there or food scraps provide a buffet and you've got a great setup let the worms do the work. But I am just not going to schlep that soil in this year or pay for it. And um, most of my homemade compost went into all of the containers that I set up this year all around the garden. So this bed is going to have to take care of itself. I've done this in the polytunnel garden as well. I brought in some of my pots of geranium cuttings. So I put those there 
and over here I put in a couple baskets of leaves and these are tulip poplar flowers that have fallen. I have a couple of baskets of those and actually guys this is reduced by half. It was overflowing yesterday but as that compost breaks down the nutrients are going to go down into the soil right between my two tomato plants and give the soil nutrients and the worms are going to enjoy being underneath all of this rich nice compost. So like I said you don't have to go out and buy potting soil but you could just put little baskets of compostable materials. Here's another one over here and in, in fact this one is broken. This could be in the recycle bin this year but I decided to put it to good use and once these tomatoes grow up you're not even going to see much of that basket there. That's all going to turn to soil and all the worms are going to be living under all my containers including my new containers that I'm gardening in. And by the way, this is my best year yet for zucchini. So I'm so happy that I'm giving space to more containers in my garden. But I just wanted to show you how many pots I am setting throughout the different gardens and how I hope to improve the soil by doing so. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And I hope you're having fun in your garden. Give this zero cost method a try. I'll see you next time.